What is up everybody? This is your host Superside and welcome back to another video of Heyday. Now this here is going to be a very special video in which I'm going to be talking about my secret of how to make coins. Now some of you will be my subscribers from a long time ago and will have seen my very first videos, videos on this. So it is semi a remake because I will be covering what I have covered in previous videos. I may be able to link those videos if you'd like. But this one here I'm going to be covering the main things on Heyday, the main concepts and how to make tons of coins. And so I will officially be revealing that giving you the best advice possible in Heyday. Right, so as you can see, I have a few coins, almost 3 million. I've unlocked most like of my farm, like all this over here and all this over here bar this, and I've started working on the town. I've also mastered quite a few of my machines. I've bought all my machines. I've bought all the different animals and different pens and all that. My barn is 1,900. My silo is 2,000. I've also maxed out the lobster pool as well as the duck saloon. I've unlocked all these slots and also done a whole heap of other stuff. Now, I'm not saying this to show off. I'm saying this to say this here is a strategy, the strategy I use in order to achieve this. Now, I'm only level 55, so I'm very low level considering everything that I've un unlocked and achieved comparative to other players around my level. So I'm simply saying this here is the strategy of you. Well, I'm saying this is a strategy of use in order to get here, and I'm going to tell you that strategy, that secret to get coins, and a ton of other secrets to get all the other stuff. Now, I have done a whole heap of videos in the past in which I do reveal all that stuff, but this one here is going to be a recap going over the main ways, the main strategies I use to make all of these coins, and how keeping low level is actually really beneficial. Right, so we're going back to the main farm. And I would like to also say, I am a free-to-play player, meaning I've never spent any real money on Heyday ever. I've never bought any diamonds, never bought any coins. So those, like, near 400 diamonds are all just gained in th through the game. I also haven't got another account in which I exchange trade items with on this, and I don't give myself coins on this. This is all 100% genuine, and I certainly haven't done any hacks or cheats, that I can tell you. So, what is it then that makes one get so many different coins? Coins, like so many coins with with doing this now there are a few different ways of course I love using the daily dirt that's one of my favorite wheating is also another thing that I often use and which I can't do right now because I haven't got any wheat and so there are different strategies I use in order to get that but one of the main things I would like to cover in this video is how to stay low in level while getting a ton of coins now you might say well why do you need to stay low in level and like why can't you just go up really high level and not have many coins and so I will be telling you the golden rule, which I call the other video, the golden secret. Now, the basic concept is this. Coins can be converted into XP, but XP cannot be converted into coins. And that is one of the most important things to understand in Heyday. Now, obviously, that's a fact that everyone knows, but it's the meaning behind it that's significant. For me, how I think of coins is I think of them as a store. It, like you, the coin is coins are stored XP. Coins can be used to purchase machines and basically do anything in Heyday that vouchers and except for what vouchers and diamonds can do. So my goal throughout my whole Heyday like journey thing has been to get as many. Is like to, to get as many coins as possible and not level up super quickly because if you level up super quickly and you don't have enough coins you run into big problems because sure it's like whoa I'm real high level but at the same time you can't afford the machines that you've unlocked you can't always afford the animals and often you'll be in the daily dirt and you can't even afford you know to get things that you can upgrade your barn and your silo and so I think it is a bad bad idea to level up quickly without having the necessary coins and so I'm since I'm so focused on what I'm saying, I'm not exactly playing Heyday as much as I could be right now. I'll try to do both and I'll try to multitask. But what happens is you end up getting really high level. You can't unlock the machines, meaning that you can't produce the, the machine like you've unlocked them, but you can't buy them because you don't have enough coins, meaning that then there's all these products you can't produce because you haven't bought the machine, meaning that then you can't fulfill orders, you know, whether it's truck orders, town orders, boat orders. You can't do them. And in the derby, it's more difficult. And it's, it's just a mess because then you, know, you have all these people requesting different items that you can't even supply because you haven't even unlocked and 
yeah, I just I just would not recommend leveling up higher than what you can afford. And by that I mean always have enough coins so that when you level up to the next level, at minimum, you are able to purchase everything you unlock. So for example, this here, sushi bar, I'm not sure how much it costs, I'm assuming it's like half a million, I'm, I'm, I honestly don't know the exact amount, but I want to make sure I have at least as much as that costs, which is obviously going to be at more than, you know, 10,000. I want to have a few, like many, many thousand before I level up to level 56 so I can immediately buy that and also anything else that unlocks and in this case it doesn't unlock anything but that is what you're trying to do you're trying to keep as many coins as possible so that you can immediately buy everything so what lots of players do is they they level up and they run out of coins and this is a, so many players I know uh, you find them bankrupt and it's, it's so sad because like they can't get ahead then because they haven't got the machines you know they can't afford the machines they're instantly just spending all their coins whether it's on decorations and it's fine to spend coins on decorations but I wouldn't suggest that's a priority that as your low level I would say up to level 80 you want to be focusing on making coins now of course it's different for every every player you know some of you spend money on the coins and the diamonds which is totally fine but then you don't need to like spend as much time making coins but I focus on making coins a lot because I think it just is so helpful to have all those bonus coins to be able to purchase everything you need immediately and so that that rule that coins can be converted into XP but XP cannot be converted into coins is very important because what the thing is with the coins you know you might think oh well I'm not leveling up right now I could be using that on XP and yes that is true but at the same time that all those coins that stored XP later in the game you can come back and think wait hey I want to actually convert it to XP and you can do that that's the difference that is the crucial difference if you go ahead and you spend all your coins and then they all go into XP and you level up really high and have no coins left if you realize oh dear that was a mistake I have no coins and I have all this XP which is no longer any use to me you can you can't reverse that the the coins are gone they're used as XP they've been converted into XP and so like and by XP I mean like you you're doing boat orders because it's like basically it's a total ripoff deal with the coins except of course in this event right now maybe but you're, you're spending a ton of coins to get like to get like XP and so for example you might spend a hundred coins to get 200 XP so you're converting the coins 100 coins into 200 XP but so what's happening in that case is you are spending those coins on XP and if you realize oh dear that was wrong I needed those coins you can't get them back they're gone but if you do the other way and you think wait hey I'm just going to get a ton of coins and not worry about XP that's fine because at any time you know and and like at level 100 whenever you want you can use those coins and convert them into XP that's not an issue hence it, it, it works one way but not the other hence it's far more better to have them stored yet to have coins than to have XP so XP you can't get back for coins but the coins you can convert into XP at any time so that is one thing that I would seriously recommend that you do focus on making coins now there are many ways to make coins and I do talk about about them in my videos but some of the, the main two ways is through wheating which is planting a ton of wheat harvesting it and selling it I would recommend for 10 coins some people sell, sell it for higher or lower I'd sell it for 10 and it works fine and so that is one way also in the daily dirt you can buy and resell products so you come in here you look for prices like products that are underpriced for example, uh, there might not be an example in this Daily Dirt, and it doesn't appear that there is. The most common two are corn for 20 coins and eggs for 50 coins. Like, and of course, in the quantity of 10. So you buy them and resell them, and that is one of the best ways. And so that is one of the crucial points I would suggest, that you don't go for the XP. It just never works out as well as going for the coins do. And so now, as you can see, I've, I'm on a reasonable level. I, I'm happy with level 55. I've never focused ever since level 1. I've never focused on making XP. And look where I am. I'm at level 55. XP will come naturally just by producing products, just by farming, you know, just by doing the everyday things you do in Hayda, you'll get XP. You don't need to specifically focus heavily on making XP. And so one of those ways that you he heavily focus on it is if you're doing boat orders. Hence, I don't do boat orders. I want to stay low level. I want to be able to afford everything I unlock. And I don't want to get super high 
and just like have a like because it, it also looks bad if you're super high and you've still got most of your farm left to unlock you might as well unlock it when you're a lower level and also there's just I just the, it's so and it's easy in the derby it's just much easier to be a low level and unlock all the stuff as you go same with when you unlock all the fishing areas it's nice to get them all before you go to the next level and then all that kind of stuff it, it, it like of course there's limitations as you have to get all those different products but that is one of the things and hence I would not recommend recommend doing boat orders of course this is just my opinion this is just what's worked for me but there's no real need to do boat orders boat orders you lose a ton of coins you get heaps and heaps of xp so you can level up very fast from doing boat orders but you don't get many coins back you don't get what you put in back and so you're, you're losing coins to level up but staying low staying young in heyday level wise is a really good strategy that works quite well and so that there's what I would not advise doing boat orders orders then you come to the question of truck orders well do i do truck orders well that one there again it's it's it depends on the truck order and i'll show you what i mean so for example lots of them as you can see they have the heavily skewed towards xp how can you tell if the skewed well one that's exactly equal would be one that gave you like 100 coins and 100 xp if it gives you 101 xp and 99 coins it's skewed in favor of xp but even those that are and, and so most of them here well quite a lot of them that one and that one and that one and that one and that that and that all in favor of xp and that and so this one here is in favor of coins but even so it's still a loss in coins so for example if we go over there and that's strawberry jam so we'll come over here do this come down to where the threes are and so strawberry jam will go like that too you get 520 coins from selling in the daily dirt we come over here we get 402 so that means that we're then we're losing about 100 coins to get 200 xp so if you're going for xp that's great but for if you're not then it's not a good idea hence i never do any truck orders except for the green ones or unless it's like just a wheat order which most of them aren't so these ones here i just always automatically delete all of them these ones the green ones are the only ones I consider doing and even so I don't often do them if they are jewelry ones they quite often do favor you get more coins from selling them here than you do in the in the roadside shop but even so not always not in this case right here I'm pretty sure and so for example if we go to the nine coal and we look at nine coal right there boom boom 972 and here we get 400 so you get like half the price here and it's giving you 600 xp now I, the, the bonus thing with green ones is it does give you a voucher so i have accumulated a few vouchers from doing truck orders alone not boat orders i've done next to none but i only got like 400 points or whatnot for 543 right there but these ones are the ones you want to do and so this one here is just raw material so i don't really want to do it but the ones that are like necklaces and that i often do that so i'll delete that one there because i'm not going to do it but that one there truck orders the green ones especially can be reasonable they're unlocked at like i think it's level i'm not sure exactly what level but i would recommend they're the only ones you do but again up to you but that is how you collect the coins and don't get the xp also in regards to the town i would absolutely advise doing the town the town is great it's amazing mainly because it gives you something back every time you complete the visitors so you'll get tools back you'll get planks and all sorts of different things which is always very good and so then although you are getting a wee bit of xp you're still getting all the tools so you can upgrade your barn and your silo and and yeah so that the town is good i would recommend doing the town definitely full-on do the town if you can do the town so I often do the town, I never do the boats, and I occasionally do the truck orders. So they are the main reason, the main things in order to make coins. But yeah, coming back to my main point, yeah, the golden rule is coins can be converted to XP, but XP cannot be converted to coins. So that is the crucial piece of advice. You don't want to go for the XP because you often end up bankrupt and without being able to afford the machines. Coins are key in heyday. Coins are 100% key. And I've, I've said that repeatedly in all of my videos, the message is the same pursue coins not xp xp will come in time xp will come later it's the coins you want and you'll get the experience from getting the coins if that makes sense so yes that is basically it i just thought i wanted to highlight the message this first type of video that i've sort of gone and covered previous things i have got a ton of other things a ton of other best advice but yeah that is basically 
my best, most important advice in heyday is pursue the coins, not the XP. The XP will come. So yes, that is it for this video. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and want to find out more about how to make coins in the most efficient ways and how to get all those heyday strategies in action and how to make the most efficient possible heyday farm so you're just absolutely hammering out of the park, getting those big barns, those big silos, unlocking all the land, unlocking everything and going up in heyday. So yes, please subscribe for that. Please like it if you enjoyed the video or learned something and please Please comment if you have something to say about the video or you ever had a question, I'll be sure to answer it and read all those comments. This has been your host, Supersight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.